Welcome back. Almost 10 till. Any mom or dad will tell you parenting can be difficult. And today, even with all the forms of communication available, finding ways to talk to your kids can be tough. So how can we improve parenting communication skills without becoming overbearing? Hmm, I've been accused of that once or twice. <laughs> Kate Temple spoke with several experts. She joins us now to tell us more. Yeah, that's right. So one of the biggest problems parents are actually running into right now is social media. Yeah. And that can be a real challenge, especially because it's constantly changing. How much is too much? How can you stay close to your kids without being annoying or intrusive? Maybe you've been accused of that too. This morning, we'll hear from experts and a local mom on the best ways to deepen and strengthen our relationships as the challenges of social media grow. I think that the things that we are challenged with are much more difficult. The social media, definitely. It's a challenge parents are dealing with across the country. Social media, newer, faster, and always changing. You know, we didn't have that growing up. Michelle Scott is a working mom with three busy teens at home. You've got a basketball game one day, you got volleyball the next, and, and it's just, it's Practice really, really tough. Place. Busy schedules make finding family time a challenge. But in a society where more moms and dads are working than ever before, experts at Indiana Youth Institute say finding time is crucial. There certainly are greater challenges on parents today because we don't have the tight family and community life that we had back in the day. There's so many of these additional influences in our kids' lives. There's so much less time with parents than kids used to have 20, 30 years ago. And we need to be focused on spending time with our kids and having them in relationships with other caring adults uh, in good settings. Which could come in the form of mentoring programs, clubs, and sports. But at home, local psychotherapist and author Aaron Leonard says it's about building more meaning into your interactions. You always want to be present, as present as possible, with busy schedules and um, hectic schedules, both parents and kids. Um, it's important to kind of um, make those moments that you, you are together meaningful and you want to be present. So you always want to listen. Leonard says ask specific questions about a child's life, validate their efforts, not just the achievements, and listen without distractions. And when it comes to new technology like social media? That can be challenging for both um, children and adults. So really monitoring without being intrusive or, or participating. It's all over and there's so many outlets of social media. Like I have a Facebook page and my kids are like, Mom, no one has Facebook. <laughs> Great. Now we know social media outlets are constantly changing, so Dr. Leonard says it's important to continuously monitor and stay up to date with whatever your child is involved with online. You heard her say it at the end there. She got a Facebook page yeah. trying to stay up to date with her kids, and they said, Mom, nobody even has Facebook anymore because uh -huh. now kids are getting away from Facebook and turning to other platforms well, for social media. And so. it's a changing society. I think there's a lot of competition out there, too. Oh, there definitely is. Dr. Leonard mentioned that for sure. She said that uh, because of that competition and that, that pressure, the parents are feeling like they need to step up their game, they need to work more hours, make more money, do this and that to have their kids have the best possible opportunities and that just causes more stress so it's not even just social media there's a lot out there yeah there's nothing like a good car ride though to get your kids to talk to you and <laughs> definitely that's, that's wonderful yeah all right thanks a lot kate